and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. African free trade, a winner for transportation, infrastructure and services. Tourism and transportation are an integrated part of transportation and services. At this upcoming UN meeting about the African continental free trade area, top African leaders, including heads of state will discuss. The United Nations Economic Commission for Africa session in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia on Monday is giving Dr. Walter Mazembe, Chair for Africa at the World Tourism Network an opportunity to present a way forward for Africa. Heads of state are expected to attend and deliver a message of African coordination and unity. It includes H. E. Mohamed Bazoum, President of the Republic of Niger, H. E. Mokwitsi Masisi, President of the Republic of Botswana. The presidential keynote address will be given by H. E. Julius Mata Bayo, President of Sierra Leone, and H. E. Ms. Isatu Toure, Vice President of the Gambia. Adequate and efficient infrastructure and services across all modes of transport and tourism are critical to reopening the full benefit of the AFCFTA and economic growth. Moreover, the transport sector contributes significantly to job creation and the GDP of African countries. A high-level discussion on this subject followed by a call to action will include, H. E. Monique Ensansabahanwa, Deputy Chairman for the African Union Commission, Professor Benedict Orama, President of the African Export and Import Bank, Mr. Isaias Woldemariam, Acting Group SEP for Ethiopian Airlines, Mr. Alan Kalavica, SEP for Kenyan Airways, and TBC Scott Mather, Chief Investment Officer, PIMCO. It is envisaged that the African continental free trade area will lead to significant growth in freight across all modes of transport, including roads, rail, air, and maritime transport. This translates into investment opportunities provided by increased demand for transport infrastructure and services, with a focus on air transport. A panel of experts including Mr. Aberdamain Burt, Secretary General for the African Airline Association, Mr. Busira Awal, Group VP for Strategic Planning and Alliances for Ethiopian Airlines, Ms. Yassine Fahm, Acting VP at the African Development Bank Group, Ms. Angeline Samana, Interim Secretary General for the African Civil Aviation Commission, Ms. Emily Maburu, Director for Services of the AFCTFA, and Mr. Haney Abdelkawi, Head of Travel Sales and International Growth for Google will be exchange ideas. Dr. Walter Mazembe, VP and Chair World Tourism Network Africa. A way forward and policy directions will be presented by Dr. Walter Mazembe, Chairman of World Tourism Network Africa, and former Minister of Foreign Affairs and Tourism for the Republic of Zimbabwe. He will be discussing a way forward with Mr. Stephen Karingi, Director for Regional Integration and Trade Division for the UN Economic Commission for Africa, and his colleague Mr. Robert Lesinge, Chef of the Energy, Infrastructure and Services Section of the Private Sector Development and Finance Division, and Mr. Jeffrey Manyara, Economic Affairs Officer for East Africa. Quick facts. The transport sector will strongly benefit from AFCFTA. This benefit will be optimized if AFCFTA is accompanied by the implementation of regional infrastructure projects. The estimated cost of trucks required as a result of AFCFTA is US$345 billion. United States dollars. The estimated cost of aircraft required as a result of AFCFTA is US$25 billion. United States dollars. The estimated cost of rail wagons required as a result of AFCFTA is US$30 US$36 billion United States dollars. The estimated cost of vessels required as a result of AFCFTA is US$4 billion United States dollars. Implementing AFCFTA and planned infrastructure projects would result in the need for 2,213,579 trucks, 169,339 rail wagons, 135 vessels, and 243 aircraft. Rail currently transports just 0.3% of total intra Africa freight. This increases to 6.8% with the implementation of AFCFTA. The estimated cost of equipment required by different transport modes to cope with AFCFTA is about U411 billion dollars. Investment opportunities in infrastructure development and fleet expansion vary across subregions for different modes of transport.
Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group, or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.